Chiron and Scorpio or the eighth house. This deals with death, transformation. This deals with sex. This deals with power. And so, in your life, your, the wounds that you go through is that in the early stage of your life, you don't went through deaths, where you had family deaths, where you have death of all kinds, where also, where you've been around people who have experienced diseases through sex, and also you could have experienced disease through sex. But the thing is, you know so much about power that anybody who try to manipulate you, you can see through it. But you also can fight against those who has power because you can see how it destroy your family, your parents. But also, you could be a victim of experience so much death in your family until it become normal to you. So the thing about this placement here is that you could be a great uh, consultant of others when they go through death or those who've been raped. You could be the one who be the counselor. The counselor, because you probably been through that, or, or, you could you could have been a victim of rape or child molestation or things like that. Not saying that you are, but that's what this placement deals with. A lot of people with this placement deals with this, and they could be obsessive with finding uh, people or being like a detective when coming to those who've been molested. So they might want to help solve your problem and find a solution to your problem so they they will be the ones who will help you in these type of situations but these people are very tough and strong we talking about chiron and scorpio or the eighth house they're very strong because they've been through a lot and today sometimes they don't want to deal with death or they don't want to deal with even a person like far as sex because they see what it causes, cause a lot of destruction but also they can use their powers through sex they can use their powers through sex, where they can manipulate people through feeling sexy and through sex in general. Because they know how to have sex. They know how to hit all the spots when dealing with sex. But also, these people also is not afraid to die neither. They could be the one who's not afraid to die. Or they could fear it. Because they didn't see so much of it until it had them, fear, it had them afraid of their life or afraid to do things in life. But mostly with this placement... This deals with like power, but your wound healer is what you go through, the the, the uh, trauma. So so the trauma you go through definitely would deal with sex. It would be, deal with death. It would deal with power. So you know about powers of all kinds, manipulation, people desires. You you know people desires. You know how to manipulate people because you know what people want. You know what they need because you got a deep intuition, very psychic, and you can be a medium for different spirits. You can channel energy. And also, you can be the one who could talk to spirits. You have that capability. But at most, or I'm going to say at most you could do that. But at least you definitely is intuitive. You definitely is your intuition on point and you're a scammer. You, you are a scanner. Let me say it right. You are a scanner. Not a scammer, but you are a scanner. Like a, a, a lie detector scammer. Scanner. When it comes to people trying to tell you a lie you can just feel feel them and you know if they're lying or not so let me say it correctly you are a scanner a lie detector where you where you can where you just know if somebody uh is lying because you hate liars so you can be the type who go hard upon liars but also you can be the type who do lie to manipulate to get your way so with this place right here you go through many phases but after you overcome and you have to let live and let go because you can hold so much pain in until you don't want to let go. So once you let go and let live, this is how you win. Let go and let live and continue to strive to the betterment, betterment of yourself. This is how you win. You have to let go. You have to let, let live. You have to move on because you stay in that same place of being so traumatic because maybe you don't went through things that dealing with sex that cause you don't want to have none no more or have you to manipulate people when dealing with sex and get what you want, anything. But also, you can use any type of power to get your way. Even if it takes like fighting people, you, you the type that can get real aggressive upon people. 
you need to be a type that can get people out their funds too because deal with resources like anything that deals especially like money power so you can do anything to get that money you might set somebody up to get robbed because you know how to play great master games so mastermind games so you can be that type or you can be the type that's seen so much of this in your life until you know you know uh what people are capable of doing until you be so paranoid especially if you go around environment that deals with this type of situation that deals with scamming actually scammers and frauds and that deals with uh violence that deals with you seeing thugs on the block or in the ghetto or the hood so you can you can be the type who actually you know seeing this type of stuff if you're not in some way in your life you don't been around very powerful aggressive aggressive people they can be like a, a powerful um it could be a mob boss or not on the street level. It could be a corrupt cop or, or a correctional officer in your family or somebody who's corrupt. And you done seen it. You done seen the power that they had. And you seen how they got the power. So you might choose to take the path of manipulating people. Because you know because you know through your, your family experience of what power is. And you know that power in some form can make you feel good. But see, you could be the type that 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 see so much when dealing with this power that you seen people fall too until you don't want to uh be in that type of power that your family in or that other people in but it will help you get around and this is a good thing because you you know what power is, a, is about you know when you're dominating somebody you know when to stop and let people uh flow let them live so the whole thing is to balance yourself out you know what I'm saying? Balance yourself out. Master yourself. Master your emotions. Master your feelings. And um, let live. Let go. So you will know, like, like when somebody trying to manipulate you and when you trying to manipulate others so you can just stop and say, okay, I'm not going to do that. See what I'm saying? Because you got a deep conscience. You got love and loyalty a part of you. You very family oriented. You very caring. And so... Watch out for your jealousy tendencies too, because you can be very jealous. Like uh, other people, relationships, you be jealous in general. Just jealous if somebody in power got more. Po you feel like people are more, um, more in power than you, or more in control than you. So, so watch out for that. Them tendencies. And how you do that is master yourself, master your energy, learning. Uh, the ins and out about yourself so you can master every part of yourself take it slowly which means your emotions your mind because you is a mastermind you're good at psychology you know how people think so you like to know what makes a person ticks so you can use this too to get what you want so watch out for that part of you so this is why you need to be true to your heart because your heart says it all so right here with this right here this is like a traumatic placement but you can ele elevate once you master this placement, once you let live and let go, you can transform to your highest potential and be your best version, your best self through this placement. Where you can be a great teacher, counselor, guide, or anything that you almost choose to be when dealing with like helping people and who's in need of this energy, but also helping yourself. And this is your your um your wound healer because you can be you make a great detective, putting pieces together like a problem solver, and your intuition is strong. So you got very much psychic gifts and skills if you tap into it and tune, tune into it. So you make a great medium, psychic medium, or and also those like a classenting where you can feel people's energy. So many psychic gifts if you uh, tap into this place, but you definitely at least is intuitive, strong intuition. So right here, it's your intuition. It will guide you and do the right thing. The let live, let go, you will win. To all the trauma, to all everything that you went through, it will help you transform to your highest self where you could teach others through this. So with this being said, I'm out.